for it, for it and fresh out. Get the tokens. Congratulations. We will be serenaded by a group oh, of it's cats. Me. Oh my gosh! Rigged. The first thing I won from there. Absolutely and it's rigged. <laughs> oh, there's more. There's more. More, more on the way. Looks like uh, ducks cheered enough to get another, get a second one going. Thank you, ducks. Nothing this time. And nobody, everybody is so entranced by the cheerful slots, they don't know who to bet on, but let's introduce them to the teens and we'll give them an idea here. And so on the blue team, well, I think that's a Garchomp. Pretty sure that's a Garchomp. It's, you know, difficult to uh, confirm, but yeah, I think that, that it has a, it has a sand veil there. And there's a Spoink with, uh, that's a glutton for Ganlon berries, or Gamlon berries. And finally, we have Jigglypuff. So cute. And for the red corner, we have Skorupi with Sniper, going to boost those crit chances. Uh, Machamp with Guts, which will get the boost from the Flame Orb. And Nido Queen with uh, Rivalry. And Red in the Cup getting a Fun Crate. Enjoy your Fun Crate. Oh, and Toagak? Is that how you say it? Toagak sharing 5 bits, 95 to go. Thank you, Toagak. That. I want to open my probably nothing crates, but I'm gonna have to wait until commentary's over. <laughs> hey, it could have something in there. It's oh, only Reg. probably empty. I open it and I get an Arceus badge. I'm getting a little help from Demon Lord Zul here. There is no Sigourney Weaver. There is only Zul. Less than a minute left to get in on this switching off match. Say it with me, folks. What you see is what you get. The order of these Pokemon cannot be changed. That's not that good for Blue because it has a um, Perish song on Jigglypuff, which will be useless if Jigglypuff is lost out. Looks like Red is favored. Get your bets in, guys, if you want to bet on this. Not much time. You have like five seconds if you can hear this. I've got a few last minute bets. Looks like red is still heavily favored. We kick it off on the Gateway Coliseum. Red team, the heavily favored ones. Let's see how blue team will compensate. There's X Scissor hoping for a crit. No, just moderate damage there. Garchomp uses Sandstorm. Da -da 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 -da. Interesting play there. Um, Garchomp has the Sand Veil, which will raise its elevation in a sandstorm. But that won't stop Scorpy from hitting here. Another X Scissor, taking it down to just above R. There's the speed drop off Mudshot. And Sandstorm chips away at the health of Scorby. Clutch is a dragon that pulls there, and it gets its Landsat Berry, activating its high crit chance. Still no crit though, unfortunately. Garchomp attacks, and Scorby is obliterated by Dragon Pulse. Not looking too good for Red here. Nice. 
Machamp is sent out now. Garchomp continues to unleash, unleash the Dragon Pulses. Rolling Kick still hits it through the Sandstorm. Oh, without special animation as well. Bit of a risky play there with the Sand Veil in effect. Red smartly goes Bullet Punch to outspeed and take out Garchomp. And down it goes. Swank will be the next Pokemon sent in from the blue corner. Of course the Machamp is on fire right now, but it's okay because it's got guts, so it's going to get that attack boost. Super effective extra sensory, takes it down to critical health. Speaking of taking things down, take down. Nice segue that. Does not manage to take down that spoink. <laughs> oh, but Recoil takes out Machamp. Oh, does it? No. No, I think it clutched. But the burn will take it out, nevertheless. <laughs> it's all burned up now! The damage from the burn was just too much! Poor guy. Anyway, it's going to be Nido Queen out now. Thank you, Toa Toachak, Toachak, <laughs> you, um, for um, donating five five cheers. Did that? Did it seriously tank that earthquake? I think it did. Wow. Point tankier than I thought as it comes in with the extra sensory. Super effective there. Nido Queen doesn't have the best starts, unfortunately. It's quite a um, quite a weak Pokemon. That one will do it though. And Spoint goes down as the ground is torn open under it. Jigglypuff looks to be in a favourable position now. Just has to spam a few seismic tosses. And there it goes, tossing it off into the air. Comes back down. You know, it's in remarkable shape for something that just went through the atmosphere. Oh, counter, Thank smart play. Fortunately for Jigglypuff, it has a decent HP that allows it to tank that counter handily. Oh! <laughs> no so luck for lived. Jigglypuff, but you were right about those stats. Not quite enough to finish off that Jigglypuff. No, a crit would have done it there, but looks like it's going to get hurled in space again. And uh oh, I'm, I'm getting dizzy. Hurled by Seismic Toss. Oh, and red, uh, no, blue get quite a nice payout there. Good job, guys. <laughs> Sandvale mattered. <laughs> Alright, whilst we're at the side game, I'm going to take this opportunity to open my probably nothing crate. Oh! Oh, well, I guess... <laughs> Typical. We, we sort of saw that coming. I don't know what I was expecting, really, but... <laughs> Thank you, Breakbear, for adding a token. Very nice to us here on commentary, it always donates tokens. You spoil us, spoil chat. Of course you can use tokens for a variety of uh, different ways here on Twitch Plays Pokemon. Some considered to be unnatural. You mean pinball? 
It oh, looks like me. you got one of the tokens along and with Y2K. Y2K. I can see the rest of it there. <laughs> congratulations to you and me. And congratulations, Puppet. Rigged Central. I got really lucky with tokens last time. I was commentating as well. I think it's just a thing. <laughs> I'm glad someone appreciated that. <laughs> or maybe they didn't appreciate it, but I'm glad they acknowledged it in any case. I'm glad someone out there. Oh, and we have a normal switching on match here, and for the blue corner we have shield on with sturdy, Pikachu with lightning rod, and Gengar with levitate. And on the red corner we have Drifblim with unburden, Nosepass with sturdy, and Latias with levitate. And for those of you who don't know what Unburden does, when the Pokemon loses its item, it increases its speed. It gets a lot faster. Correct, but if that Pokemon is switched out, then um, the effects of Unburden are negated. So yep. it's only it can only be useful whilst the Pokemon stays in. Also interesting to note is that Shield On has Sturdy, which will be completely ineffective for it in this game as Red do not have any one-hit KO moves, but Nose Pass can make use of it, as Shield On has Fisher. Oh yeah, that's a good point. And I feel like you guys know what Levitate does, but um, Lightning Rod will raise the special attack if um, Pikachu gets hit by an Electric-type move. Is, is that how it, it, did, did it work that way in uh, Gen 4 too? It raises special attack, I do believe. I could be wrong. I know it drew all electric types in. Well, less than a minute left to get your bets in, guys, on this switching on match. This is for your switching strats. So you, all you savvy switchers Oh, should... apparently I got lightning rod wrong. Well, yeah, it, I think in in uh, Gen 5 and onward it, it did that, or does... Wait, no, no, it's... Yeah. I think it only draws electric time moves, I don't think it raises the special Gen, attack. Yeah, Gen 5 yeah. onwards, I think. Yeah, I got, I got that wrong. I haven't played Gen 4 competitive in a long time. I'm a little bit hazy around some of the abilities that got updated. Not much time, not much time. Get your bets in. It looks like blue team is heavily favored here. What's Gengar gonna- Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait a second. What do you- Hmm, interesting. Well, it looks like blue is really heavily favored now. Massive payout for red if they can pull this off. Gengar's gonna lead off now with a Shadow Punch. Super effective, hits in for about three quarters health. Drivlim flies up high. Gengar obviously gonna miss the Shadow Punch. Drifblim's gonna hit him with a fly. Decent damage on that Gengar. I'm but... impressed, yeah, that was pretty good. It's pretty fast though. Shadow Punch will take it out now. We never even got to see Unburden used. See you later. <laughs> Spent all that time talking it through as well. Oh well. Looks like next up it's going to be Nose Pass. They are coming in with Brick Break. Gonna break some rocks here. Super effective, but does just under half, as Nose Pass unfortunately misses its rock slide. That Gengar is crafty. Dodge the flying rocks. There's another Brick Break. Oh, and Red. Um, they're gonna do something funny here. Yeah. Kapow. <laughs> 
Gengar just watches as Nose Pass explodes. Very honorable. And there's Latios being sent out now. The last Pokemon for red. Gengar returning to its Shadow Punch strats. Still very effective. Red going for Charm now. Very interesting play. Going to lower its attack harshly though. You know, I'm not sure you can be charming enough to keep this Gengar from doing something mean. Doesn't look like the flirtatious type. To get the accuracy boost as it goes for another charm. Might Certainly won't stop it from trying, that's for sure. I think a missed ball would have uh, taken it out, but. Shadow Ball, that's GG. And Latias is beaten up by Shadow Punch. This <laughs> the Gengar, perfect. Well, not a perfect sweep, I suppose, but uh. Still, it still standing. You should be happy, and that's only a 7% payout, but hey, money is money. Gotta climb the ranks somehow. And Chad is having a little discussion on the on the move body slam. Yeah, I believe it is one hundred percent accuracy. Me too. And we continue to move around in the grass trying to farm up in Ash Grey. Thank you again, Briegriff, for your token. Get in your input so you can take part in that token. Hopefully. Congratulations.